Hey, Ella, I'm glad we, you were able to get out this morning. And so let me give you an example. On our left is when we first started, and we just said, let's go take an approach. On our right is about midway during the day, uh, and we can talk about the adjustments that you made. First of all, both are four-step approaches, so that's really good. We can see that first step out as we go. Um, we make that step out, which is really looks good. And then we work on our explosion step, which is that big left step, which we got looks like really decent. As we move back, uh, we see the nice arm uh, motion back. Notice this step on the left. This step on the right is a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger wire. You're moving faster, which is good. You take a big giant step there. As we come up and start on our way up, um, notice here and on on this side, you're a little bit more loaded than you are over here, if we notice that, which is good. Um, you made that adjustment. As we continue to move forward and up, um, right now you see both arms here going up. Um, we break here just a little too soon. Remember, we want that arm to be keep driving up um, all the way up because it's our guide arm. We break a little too soon, and here we drive both arms up, but then we end up keeping, we end up keeping that arm up. Um, when we're going to swing. As we move forward again now, as we look, we've got very straight legs as we're going up over here, which means the force off the ground isn't as high. Notice that we're now really pushing off the ground a lot uh, on this side, really getting that jump that we're looking for, that division one jump, I always say. Um, we've got that arm back and loaded already. Everything's a little bit faster. Uh, as you go through the swing on the left side, we notice our head still is up, up and high. And as we come in, this is perfect hand coordination, especially with that tuck jump. That's just amazing transition right there. Uh, love to see that what's happening there. It looks really, really solid. Um, we're going to take another angle. And then here, notice we kept the head up all the way through. So um, that last adjustment that you made was really good. I want to take a look at it again. Again, we're much more velocity off the ground here and nice swing push through. That's technically where we ultimately want to be versus on this side where we held our, kept our arm up and held our head up. Now, we'll talk on the next one. We'll talk about some of the dynamics inside of that in terms of why, um, in terms of the hip rotation, the feet, pl the foot placement, and so on. All right, talk to you soon. Okay, Ella, so we're gonna circle back now. We're gonna talk a little bit about uh, foot placement on the power stride and approach, and we're gonna talk about uh, hip rotation in that stride as well. Um, as we notice, both are going out. As we come down uh, on our left, and our right, again here, same thing, left and right. We're really not getting, uh, in both scenarios, if we look at our foot placement, we're really not getting ourselves around to the setter. Notice there, almost in both situations, almost um, facing the net directly. That's going to uh, keep us from being able to open up when we go up top like here. Notice there's no hip rotation. Everything right now is straight on and that's your torso should be rotating there. It can't because of where you planted your feet. Um, same in this situation. It can't because of where you planted your feet, especially in this situation. And the fact that your legs are straight over here, which was the beginning, which we, I think, corrected, um, still, you can notice that your hips are, your core is facing directly to the net. And in this situation, pretty much your core is facing directly to the net. We really wanted to be on the other side of that. Um, as a result, what we're seeing is uh, we're not really able to get around uh, and get through that ball like we uh, ultimately want to. Um, so those hips stay open um, in that situation. So we are going to work on getting way more 
uh, rotation um, in our in our core over here. Um, and in doing that, it's going to allow us to increase our velocity a lot uh, on the ball. But this other stuff looks really, really good. I would expect right now that your back would be directly to me. Um, and if you had that guide arm up, this right arm, this left arm would be your guide arm. It would keep you behind the ball and it would give you a target. Um, when you drive that arm down, that gives you more of the rotation that we're ultimately looking for. So um, in this video, what we want to make sure we work on foot placement, work real hard at getting um, getting 45 degrees to the net. Um, that's a little better in this situation over here again, but uh, we still are way too open and we're not getting the torso back, getting the arm back, but not that torso rotation that we're looking for. So let's uh, let's see if we can make sure that we work on making some of those corrections um, and, and getting that adjusted. I'll try to give you some stuff to work on in order to make that happen. Okay. Anyway, good work today. And remember, you got a Shakespeare play that you're going to memorize for me. And so I hope we'll be able to give you a side-by-side -side comparison here shortly.